All right, and let's go side to side. Like that. Turn right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. Bounce back and forth. Go. Right, right, right. All right, now feet together now. Feet together, feet together. Very good, I'll let you. Use that seat. And bounce on the right, right on the left. Right, right. Fast as can. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. All right. So we're going to do uh, some of the stuff. So let's try to create a line. Uh, last Wednesday, or Wednesday, this Wednesday, last Wednesday, uh, we used a line. Okay. So I want you guys to send an imaginary line. You can use like a t shirt or line um, or, or like a towel or something. I want you guys to pretend there's an imaginary line, okay? And I'm gonna do a couple exercises that require that. So you don't need to bring anything. Just create a line for yourself. Same on your right leg. And I want you to explode to your left leg. Okay? And then pretend you're going over the line. Right leg. You need five on each side. Good. Really balance on that leg. Control. Try to stick it, stick it on the side. Big, as wide as you can. Big, throw your body to the side. Throw it. Throw your body. Throw your body. All right, good. Okay, let's stand on our right leg. Hold it. And we're going to do bounding jumps, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up that leg and then Land on, okay? We're gonna bound as high as you can. Try to pick up that right knee and then the left knee too. Try to get as high as you can and then sit. And do five, ready? One, two, two. Oh, throw it. Three, back straight. Four. Good, explode off your toes and five. Balance. All right, left leg, here we go. One. And three, balance, four, and five. Good job. All right, let's do five straight jump sticks. Ready? One, two, really pushing off those toes, guys. Three, four, and five. Okay, let me tell you guys a quick thing about landing, guys. When you land, you are, when you make contact, when you hit the ground, it should bounce back up into your feet. So if you hit it, you know, there's springs underneath here, you're gonna feel it bounce back into your feet. So you, that's where you wanna absorb and really control that landing. Squeeze those legs strong. Let's do five more. Let's do tuck jump or straddle jump or straight jump. You guys, it's your choice. Let's do five of them. You ready? All right, here we go. And one. Good, Mark is gonna straddle. Oh, I'll do straddle now. Two. Good. Three. We do a pike jump, two, or a half turn, or full turn. That's fine. Four. Finish. Very good. All right, let's uh, let's go back to those jumping skills. Ooh, and then we'll do some of the running girls too. All right, stand your left leg, jump over the right. Go one, one, two, two. Explode even more. Over markers. Three, three, four. Control that leg. Four, five, five. Good. All right. So pretend the line is there. Line. Yes, stick. You're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're gonna put two legs in front of the line, two legs behind the line. Okay, and we're gonna go down and back, going towards your right or left, it doesn't matter. All right, ready? Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the other side. 
Good. Let's do it a little bit faster. Remember that line is there. You're watching it. You're heading one, two. Get in the box and then out of the box. In the box, out of the box. In the box, out of the box. Ready, go. And back. Oh, look at the cha cha over here now. Are you ready? Let's do it again. Ready? Go. Hey! <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Ready? Go. Let's do punches now. Same thing. Zigzag. Good. And backwards. Go back to the other direction. Let's do it in a tuck punch. Four. 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 Direction. And good. All right. Well done. Shake out those legs. Move them. All right. We're going to go ahead. We're all warmed up. We're going to go ahead and stretch. Arms up. And reach forward, middle, back, and finish. Front, middle, back, finish. Front, middle, straight legs, close them once. Back, two, up, last one, one, two, three, four, hold. Good, let's put one hand down and reach over our head. What do you think you should be stretching? Everything on your side, and you should feel in the lower back, guys. All the way over. Breathe. Good. All right. Circle other side. All right. Make sure that armpit is over the head. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, my shoulder right now is a little tight. That's good. You know, lightness and stretching. And arms up, our ears. We're gonna turn our right foot that way with our body. Okay, straight legs, arms up. And we're gonna bend from the hip. So we're gonna try to press our hip back and reach our chest over our toes. Okay, does that make sense? Arms up, push your hip back and hug your chest over your toes. Hold it for five, four. And don't do it. Three, two, one, and down. Put your hand down by your side. Don't do it. If it hurts, don't do it. Hands on both sides. It's okay. Hold it. And again, breathe that. You guys should feel your hamstring and your lower back. All right, back up. One, two, three. Good. Same thing. Back to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Down. Good, and relax. Put that lower back. I feel it right here on the right side of my body and on the left side. Okay, if you're on the left side, you should feel the right side of your lower back. I'm just good. Let's go ahead and reach through. Five seconds. Go. Reach past your heel. And back up. All right, clasp our hands together. Okay, hands together, back is straight. We're going to bend on our right leg five times. Ready? One. As deep as you can. I mean, the goal is to get your hip to your heel and push back up. Two. Three. Four. One more. Keep those hands by your, by your chest. Five. Other side. One. Control. Two. Three. All the way, guys. Deep. Four. And five. Let's go ahead and stay down and stretch. Here we go. Shoulders are pointed. I'm going to get rid of these uh, highlighter shoes. My jeans. And they're rich colors. They're blue and yellow, guys. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Stretch that leg. Point that toe. Reach the shark. Okay, gymnastics is all about lines, guys. Straight legs, toes are pointed. Okay, now without using your hands, I'm going to put your hands here like a sitting position. Okay, I'm going to push off our feet and stand back up to our straddle. All right, without dropping, let's go ahead and lower it down slowly to the side. Stretch on the right side, side lunge. Very 
nice, guys. Make sure that you guys got straight legs, toes pointed. There's a quad muscle right here. It's your lap, as we usually say. It's your lap out, okay? And toes are pointed straight. And I want you guys to make sure that you guys are locking that muscle out, out so that way you can straighten your knees. You can't do what you say. What are you doing? He's doing this thing. What is that around the thing? All right. Pull those knees apart. Twist our shoulders down. I'm going to take this middle spot. There we go. Twist that shoulder down. Good. Relax. Push as you feel it in your lower back and the hip. Switch one more time. Good. Chest is kind of like your head's still forward, but you're just dropping your shoulder down so you can stretch your lower back more. Switch other side one more time. Five more seconds. Let it go. Don't feel not straight. You just let your shoulder drop down. All right, finish. All right, arms up. Arms up by the ears. Let's go hands by our side. Let's squat. Squat down. Hands are flat on the floor, guys. Now let's go ahead and lock out our knees. And squat. Okay, lock. Good. Try to do stretch one arm. Like stretch that before our arm warm up in our team. Get the 
do that. Okay, switch the other arm as well. Now press it down to the ground. Open, open, straight arms on one arm. The other arm can bend. So hold yourself up and kind of get your arms to the ground farther. Put your belt, chest on the ground as much as you can. All right, push, you got it. All right, okay, knees up. Feet together, knees together. Let's do small circles. Small circles, big circles. Big circles, backwards. Don't smack anybody if you're around anyone. And small circles. Good. Hey, if you are on your knees uh, or if you're standing, let's go ahead and drop on your knees, guys. Back is straight. Hands are forward. We're going to drop to a push up. Ready? Drop. Now push your body off the ground. All right, we're going to do four different types of push ups today. You guys ready? We're going to go ahead and knock out three of these. And you can increase them at home, too. Ready? Regular push-ups. Elbows bent, 90 degrees. Press back up. Then two. Three. Now, wide on push-up. Ready? Fingers out. Now, I was just this. Yet, uh, it was Wednesday. We did five of them. Wide arm. Chest to the ground. Elbows coming out. One. Two. Super wide arms, guys. Fingers should be facing out. Three. Archer push up. You're going to bend as much as you can on one arm. Press back out. Little side. Yeah. Okay. Two. Good. Three. That's a really tough one. One other side. Two. And three. Press it out. Good. Now, let's go ahead and rest. Shake out those arms. We're going to go diamond. Okay. Here we go. Index finger touching, thumb touching. Make sure that your thumbs are touching because they work a different muscle group in the forearm. So diamond, our, our sternum right here should be pushing. You should do push-ups like this. Boom. So it's way in front of our fingers. Here we go. We're going to do three. Ready? One. Two. Yeah, three. Press it out. Good. Last push-up. Watch me, we're gonna go fingers all the way out. We're gonna pull our elbows to our body. One, two, three. Very good. Press it out. Good. All right, well done, ladies and gentlemen. Shake out those arms. Shake them out, shake them out. All right, good job. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and work on some handstand work. What I want you guys to do is make sure that you're in a soft place. So if you do fall, you guys are you guys can collect yourself and not crash on anything. Hard. The wood surfaces, that's up good. Matting, perfect. I see some of you guys already set. So uh, be ready. If you have a wall, be ready to use that too if you can. All right. Um, we're going to be doing lunge. Everyone, arms up. Five ears. And pick up to it a lever position. So that's halfway. So halfway, hold it, push back up. Let's do five of Just kind of walk back and forth. One. Thumbs up, buddy. Two. Push off the front knee. You be bending the front knee the whole time. And three, hold it. Three, two, one. All right. So now we're going to lever and then tip our heels over our head. Okay, so as you come up, lever position and then heels overhead, balancing on our hands. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to push off the ground and then stand back up. Okay, arms up, lunge on that front leg, lever to handstand, but don't slow down. Okay, lever and pick up, snap the legs together, lever back. That's the hard part, levering back on that leg. Five times by yourself, okay? You guys can make it more difficult by trying to hold it longer, trying to be straighter. Don't stray away from straight lines. Really good, Mark, just lever back too. Guys, make sure your body's straight when you come back up, okay? Control and respect that line, guys. Good line, push back up. Lunge up, boom. Lunge back. Keep that line, ball back. All right, really good, guys. Awesome. You guys can also practice them at home. You can do back handstands against the wall, or you can do front handstands against the wall. This is like belly to the wall, back to the wall. Okay? All right, now. 
want you guys to attempt two shoulder touches in your handstand. Okay. If you're just working on handstands, then stick on handstands. Okay, so we're gonna come up like this. Arms up. And then we're gonna lean on one side, lean on the other side, kick back to the handstand, and lunge. Nice. All right, so one arm handstands, so everything needs to balance on that arm. And then we're gonna transfer. Boom, one. Two, so it kind of looks like that. You're transferring. See, I'm stepping over because I'm thinking you know, I'm holding up my body with one arm. I'm pushing everything on my hand. Everything. And then balance, other side. Bang. And then I'm back in the middle. Again. All right? So let's go ahead and do that again. Let's go ahead and take about a minute. Let's practice that. Make mistakes. It's okay. So try to control. Ready? Pick up hands in. One, two, hold. Hands. Bop, bop. Okay, remember one side, other side, in. One side, other side. One, two, three, down. All right, shake out those wrists. Very good, roll them out a little bit. All right, good job. All right, we're gonna go candlestick position, ready. Arms up by ear. So we're gonna hollow, bend our knees. We go candlestick. Roll up to stand, finish. Good. Arms by the ear. Shift. Up. Roll. And feet. And finish. Okay, we're going to be working our handstand forward rolls in a little bit. Okay, I'm teaching you guys how to stay around it. Everyone, arms up by the ears, real quick. Arms up. Control. I want you guys around your chest and push back your stand. Okay, that is called a hollow body position. We're going to be using that in our roll. Okay, so hollow, keep your body straight. I see people bending their hips. Still bend hips. Arms up. Body ears. And only around the upper body. See my back is rounded. Okay. All right, we're going to hollow. Try to keep your head in. Okay. And then you're going to push back up and extend. Okay, this is how I am. Where my hand is, this is how tall I should be. When we round, we're going to try to close that line and keep that head in. All right, we're going to go handstand, full tall body position, and then roll out. Okay, comes up, come lunge, and kick up to a handstand, and then roll out. Ready? Go. Handstand, pull, and lower your body down and roll out. Push it off. All the way up. Keep your hold up. Oh, hold roll out of it, guys. Big handstand, roll out. You really try to round your back. Your back should be like a, a ball. There we go. I see some really good handstands. And then head in. Ooh, I see feet hitting first. So, yeah. So, you want your toes to be the peak of your handstand. And you can watch my hand here. When you're doing that handstand, you want to roll like this, not like this. Your toes, this is your toes, so you don't want to ride your feet over and drive your heels over. Okay, I want you to be hollow, hollow and roll, and then you're going to roll out to the end. Okay, so arms up by your ears, watch my handstand, and then I'm, my toes are in front of my face when I roll. So if you can, take your hands and look at your hands, and then look at your toes when you roll out. Okay, so watch my eyes when I pick up your hands. I'm looking at my hands the whole time, and then I'm gonna look at my toes. Alright, let's do three of them. I can't do that. The toes at the end of your handstand. Keep looking at those toes. Ready, second one. Ready, arms up. Alright, here we go. Pick up the handstand. Put your hands. Look at your toes. Pull your head in. Pull your head in. Good. One more time. Last one. Ready? Get set. And pick up. And look at your toes. Good. Finish. Very good. All right. Let's do three straight jumps. And we're going to stick. And we're going to uh, we're gonna actually punch out of it. Okay? So we're going to do big straight jump. We're going to step. Punch. Straight jump. Stick. Okay, pushing off the front toes. Okay, good. All right, two. Big bounce. You want to kind of hurdle, okay? So you got to 
carry your one leg up. Both legs coming up and exploding off the ground. Good. Now, let's do a tuck jump. You're going to take one step, both feet in the air, punch it down. Okay? Keep it in the air and then punch. Stitch. Two. Run up. Push. Three. Good. All right. Nice job. Let's do a shuttle jump three times. Ready? And punch, throttle. Chest up. And two. Finish. Five, one. Let's go. Big punch. And finish. Very good. All right. Good. Let's shake out those arms, shake out those legs. All right. We're going to work on some cartwheels. So I want you guys to go ahead and uh, I want a couple of things on the side um, ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and do some cartwheels and then we'll do some conditioning stuff with a ball. So if you guys have a ball at home, I want you guys to grab one squishy ball, not too big, probably like this big, uh, whatever will work. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys two minutes. You guys can get a water Hello. break or whatever you need. And we'll be right back with you guys at 3.30. Okay, so get a ball, be ready to go, guys. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So how was class so far, guys? Go ahead and start up with cartwheels. Grab a ball. Yeah, I think it's actually. Yeah, 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 it's actually. So we're gonna work on some cartwheels. Here we go. So now I want you guys to remember that line that we created. I want you guys to create that invisible line if you have one. Arms up, we're gonna work on cartwheel and then we're gonna move up from there. Cartwheel, push tall. Very nice. I'm assuming that people have cartwheel. If your cartwheel is not the best in the world, that is okay. I want you guys to work on your on the best you guys can. Maybe it's on the wrong side, so you need to try it on the other side. So if your cartwheel is good, you know your side, go ahead and do it. Now let's do five cartwheels, guys. I see you guys got some good cartwheels. If you really have straight legs and make it a long cartwheel. Don't make it a short cartwheel, it's already tight. It's a long wheel. Create a circle. Go. Okay, and we're over. Four more, or three more, guys. Ready, arms up. Big long cartwheel. Two or three. Two more. Arms up. Everybody now. Four. Long. Push it up. Very nice. And what you can do is look at your hands the whole time as you're finishing this cartwheel. Arms up. Tall. Look at your fingers. Look at your fingers. Push. Look at your other hand. Okay. So what I do sometimes is say, uh, if I'm looking at one part of my one hand that's in front of me, I try to look at my other hand when I finish. So watch how I do. I'm gonna exaggerate my where I look. So I'm looking forward on my the, my left hand side because I go left. Look, and then I'm gonna look at my right hand. Okay, let's do. Let's try that. Try to keep that vision. Vision, 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 vision. Okay, let's do two more just like that. One. Look at one arm in front of you. Look at the arm. The arm behind you. And push it up. Yeah. Very good. Last one. We're going to start on cut one foot together. Look up, pull the board. Very nice. Mark, let's do one more. I just want to see your, see if you can. Nice long cartwheel. Look at one arm. Boom, look at the other arm. Awesome. That keeps you guys tall uh, and standing up instead of looking down on the ground. That's the biggest component of the cartwheel. So we're going to go ahead and do a cartwheel step together. The only difference on the side, not even in the chat. <laughs> The only difference in the cartwheel and the cartwheel step together is obviously the step together part. But what I want you to do is you try to make sure that you're turning your hip at the end. Okay, so whatever uh, whatever wall is behind you, I want you to face that wall at the end that you step together. So arms up. Again, look at the same arm that's in front of you. I'm going to look at the other hand, right? And we're going to face that wall that was behind us. 
got together. You know? One arm on one, looking at one arm in front of us. Okay, elbows stuck together. Look at the other arm. Stand up. That's really good. But what position should we be finishing in? Huh? Seven. A seven position. That's actually. Mm, I've never heard that before. Seven position. That's good. Arms is up in front of you, and you're hollow. Okay, is that a seven? Yeah, that's how you guys said. Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought it was an upside down flip backwards L. All right, ready? Arms up. Man, that's a, that's a gem right there. Arms up, press up, boom, set. Good. Very good. And if you have power, that seven should, the corner of it should start pulling backwards a little bit. If you're pushing out that down hard, you almost take a step back. Okay? All right. All right, you guys ready? Let's really try to snap it together. Arms up. Look at the other hand, snap together. Yeah, our bottom should be not sticking out. We need to look at uh, my opposite side seeds. You don't want seeds, you want seven. Sit straight, body and straight up from the front side of our body. Okay, so we want to pull our stomach in and push up and stand. All right, arms up. A little step. Push off, step together. All right, good job. All right, now we're going to try to do a round off to our feet. Okay, so I'm going to go from both sides. Bring my feet together. Step. Round off. Punch. Punch underneath. One step. One step. Power hurdles when we run into the couches today. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Your turn. Oh, that's pretty good. But when we push up, make sure those legs are prepared to be straight. Okay? That's a second one. Push. All right, when we push down on the ground, you think like you're gripping the ground and then just throwing it down. Okay? All right. Ready? Arms up. One. Grip the ground. Push. Nice. Make sure, it's like, so if you're in that one, you should be turning to the wall behind you. If you get lunge this way, the wall's behind me, I'm going to turn to go underneath and face that wall. That wall in front of you. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, arms should be covered. Look at the second hand at the end. Okay, so you're going left, you're looking at your left hand, and then you're going back with your right hand. All right, the legs gotta go over fast. Ready, one. Look at the second hand, ready, go. Second hand. All right, let's, let's go back a couple of steps here. Let's see if we can improve our round up. Okay, just step together, okay? Arms up, good lunge. Make sure you're on the correct side. Very nice over there. Very good. All right. All right, let's do two of these. Go, car, go, boom. Looking at the second one, same thing. Good. Make sure we're pushing off that front part too. Last one, here we go. Sit and go. Push off the second one. All right, let's do one more step. Arms up, lunge, step together. Make sure our toes are facing the off 
opposite direction at the end. Good. Very good. All right, I like Mark is going to be staying straight up and not falling. I'm putting too much pressure and power, so I'm going to slow it down so you're going to have good skin position. Last one. Good. Very good. All right. Good. All right. So, what do you fall? Earth is time. All right. Woo. All right. Here we go. We're going to do a little bit of core strength. Um, let's go ahead and lay down on our backs, guys. I hope you guys get everyone pretty close to the ground so I can see that. Let's lay on our back. And let's keep our uh, the ball in between our knees and hold it. Actually, let's put it between our heels, guys. Put it between our heels, and we're going to do small crunches. Just lift your upper back off the ground to your uh, knees. Let's do about 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it, 10, and 11, 12. Hold that hollow position. 17, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hold it, 20, hold it, 5. Four, hold it, hold it, and down. All right, relax. You got five right. minutes. So, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, our pull our hands behind us, behind our hips. We're gonna bring our knees up like this, with our feet in between, or uh, ball in between our feet, and we're gonna lift up and point our knees to our shoulders. We do one, two, three, and ten, four, five. Six, you can do that. Seven, eight, nine, hold it, ten. It's five seconds, four, three, two, one. Relax, drop it down. Very good. All right, on your back, we're going to go ahead and do some uh, Russian sit up. I'm going to sit up and I'm going to bang the ball side to side. Okay, if you don't have a ball, just clasp your hands together. Okay, I hope you have carpet. You can touch the ground. Side. All right. Yeah, you don't have to slam your hands down, but I do want you guys to make contact. All right, hands here, hands in between the ball, or clasp your hands together. We're gonna sit up, and we're gonna do one, two, three, four, and then roll back. Okay, as fast as you can, but keep your chest up. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, roll back. Go. One, two, three, four, roll back. Go. Two, three, four, roll back. Go. One, two, three, four, roll back. Last one. One, two, three, four, and roll back and relax. All right, okay, next thing we're gonna do, put it in between the feet again. Put your hands behind your back like this and roll up. So I try to put it underneath the bottom and you lift up like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and hands underneath your bottom. And lift, we do 10. One, two, try to go all the way over your head if you can. Three, four, three minutes, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna go back to an L on 10. 10, go back to an L, hold it. Good, and we're gonna lift up. One, try to go to Kansas, maybe five feet. Two, three, lift all the way up if you can. Four, and five, relax, good. Lay down your stomach, let's do a seal stretch. Stretch out your stomach, because we're gonna use our abdomen, use our abs are flaring up, so relax, breathe. Ah. You guys are doing great. Yeah, you're awesome. All right. Ooh, here's another one. Let's go ahead and lean to the side with a side stretch. Stretch our obliques. Obliques are the muscles right beside your abs. Right here. Right on your side. Close. No, that's your anterior serratus. Left side. Yeah, so that muscle that's right on. Uh, right above your hip. Okay, now I see it. Yeah. Wherever your stretching should be. Uh, 
Very off the other side, very good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good, sit on your knees. All right, guys, let's go ahead and um, let's do a little bit of uh, stretching. I have new stretches for you guys. You guys can do just a little bit of this. I need you guys to pay real close attention. All right, so legs are straight, okay? That way you can both sides. You can go ahead and bend one knee and cross it over the other knee, okay? We're gonna hug our knee in. Pull our knee, grab that knee and hug it to your chest and pull it into your body. You should be stretching the side of your hip. Okay, hold it, hold it, bring it. Hold the top of your knee, guys. Good, all right, now set that leg right down. Put both hands on the bent knee side. Maybe on the right side, you can catch it. Pull on this, this side. Yes, I think. And hold it, keep your knee close to your body. Don't let it just hang out like this. Other side, Sydney. Hands on the other side, Sydney. All right, hands on the right side. Hands on the other side. Your knees are where they need to be, but your hands gotta be on the other side. And then we're gonna turn our body the opposite direction. Try to pull that knee up with your arm. So you press it. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and switch. Same thing. Figure four, and then we're gonna pull the knee up, knee up to our chest and hold it. Good. Pull the knee up. And good. And breathe. Back up. All right, guys. It was awesome seeing you guys again. Oh, man. So the week is over, but we will be back on Monday. We'll start working on some new skills. Continue practicing. You got Saturday and Sunday. We'll be back with you guys on Monday. Uh, Marcus, thank you so much for being here. We enjoyed having you guys with us. It was a pleasure. I'll see you guys again. Thank you guys for coming.